Hi friends, Miss Glenn here. We are on math lesson number 12 today. I cannot believe it. We are gonna start today with a math mind warm up called SLAM. So what I need you to do is get your five group cards and put them in order from zero to six. If you don't have these at home, you can easily make them. It's just little pieces of paper and you can write zero, one, two, three, four, five, six and put them in order. Remember, you can always pause the video if you need more time. So I have my cards in order from zero to six. To play slam, we have to find the partners to make six. So let's see, if I said four, I have to find four's partner to six. How many more does four need to get to six? Four, five, six. Four needs two more to get to six. So I would slam two because that is four's partner to six. Okay, let's try one together. If I said five, how many does five need to get to six? Five, six. Five needs one more to get to six, so I would slam one. Good job, let's try the next one. Hmm, three. How many more does three need to get to six? Three. Good job. How about one? What is one's partner to six? One's partner to six is five. One needs five more to get to six. Good job. Two. Four, two needs four more to get to six. Six. Wait a minute, six, I'm already there. Six needs zero more to get to six. Good job, last one, four. Two, four needs two more to get to six. Good job. You can put your cards away. <clears throat> Get out your number of the day template. As always, it's linked below. If you don't wanna download it or don't have it, you can just follow along. This is really good to build your number sense, right? So our number today is 12. I'm gonna write 12 in my number box and then I'm gonna write it in word form. T-W-E-L-V-E, -E, and I use the lines to help my handwriting. My tall letters touch the bottom line and the top line. My short letters don't go above this dotted middle line here. Very good job. Then I'm gonna come down and I'm gonna do my drawing. How many dots do I need to draw? 12. How am I going to draw them? Am I gonna draw them all over my paper? No. Am I gonna draw them in just one line? No, I'm gonna draw them as if I'm drawing them in a 10 frame. So I have my group of 10, 11, 12, for a total of 12 dots. Then I can come down and I can fill in my actual 10 frame. And we can easily see that 12 is two more than 10. We have our 10, frame full right here, and then we have two more, 10, 11, 12. Ooh, then we're gonna come down here and we're gonna do one more and one less. What is one more than 12? Count on to find one more. 12, 13, good job. But now we have to find one less. What is one less than 12? Do we have to count on or back to find one less? back, so let's do that, 12, 11, very good. So 13 is one more than 12 and 11 is one less than 12. Okay, now I'm gonna come up here and do my tallies. Remember, at each group of five, we cross our tallies. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10, 11, 12. So then I can easily count my tallies. I know that each cross is a group of five. Five, 10, 11, 12. 
Okay, then we're going to do our dice box. We need two die today. So I'm going to go ahead and draw my two squares. And I'm going to tell you what the first one is that we're going to use. The first one is going to be six. So go ahead and draw your six in your first one. Now we have to find out, hmm, how many more does six need to get to 12? What is the missing part? We'll count from the part that we have up to the hole. So part up to hole, plant that part in your head. Plant that six in your brain. Six up to 12, here we go. Six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, five, six. Six needs six more to get to 12. So our other one is going to be six as well. And that is a double fact. Six plus six equals 12. And there's my two dice that show six. And then our last box is our base 10 box. So remember, we have 12. So let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. I'm swapping those for a 10. 11, 12. So I have one line and two more. So this is a 10, one 10 and two ones. To draw that, we draw this group of 10 as a line and we just draw our ones as little cubes. So 10, 11, 12. What is this line worth? How many does this line represent? Show me on your hands. That line represents 10. That line is equal to 10. So 10, 11, 12. One 10 and two ones. Very good job. You can put that to the side and get your application journal. If you don't have an application journal, you can use a piece of paper or a whiteboard, that is fine. We are gonna find the very next blank page. And then we are going to close our eyes and get ready to visualize a math problem. So let's think. Uh, what was our key word yesterday? What was our key word? Mm some more. What was our keyword? Say it out loud. Some more. And we know that if we hear some more, we are missing the part. We're missing one of our parts, right? So if we hear some more, we're missing what? We're missing a part. Very good job. So today, we're gonna kind of extend it. So we know if we hear some more, we're missing one of our parts. We're missing a part, right? But what if I just hear some? If I just hear some, it usually means we're also missing a part. So some or some more means you're missing a what? A part, very good job. So keep that in mind when we're listening to our story. We're visualizing, we're visualizing the problem in our head and we're listening for keywords. Here we go. Tanya has seven books on her shelf. She borrowed some books from the library. Now she has nine books. How many books did she borrow from the library? Open your eyes. Watch my hands. We're going to read it again. Tanya has seven books. She borrows some books from the library. We don't know how many. Now she has nine books. How many books did she borrow from the library? Okay, we are gonna do a couple things here. First, we are going to draw how many 
books does she have to start with? Seven books. So I'm going to draw seven dots. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There's my seven dots. All right. Um, now what? Did anyone hear a key word in there? Some. We heard some. So we know we're missing a part. So if we're missing a part to find our extra part, we're going to switch to X's so we can easily see how many more she had, how many more she borrowed, how many more books she got, right? So we have seven. We have to get up to what? What's our whole number? How many did she have at the end of the story? Nine. So we have seven. We have to get up to nine. So seven, eight, nine. And I stay right in my 10 frame format, right? But I switch to X's so I can easily see how many more did she get? Two more books. Good job. Let's check it with a number bond. So draw your number bond. Draw your number bond. Before we do anything, we're going to pause. Think back to our keyword, sum. We did hear that in the story. So we know we're missing what? We're missing a part. So I'm going to put a super tiny question mark in one of my parts just to remind me. This is the number that I'm finding. This is what I'm missing. Okay, and then I'm going to fill in the other ones. What are our other two numbers? She started with seven and she ended with nine. Which one of those is going to be our total or our whole number? Nine, yeah, because our whole number is the big number. Our bigger number is nine. And the first part that we had was seven. Good. So we're going to check it. To fill in the number bond, to fill in a missing number in the number bond, we put the part in our head and count up to the hole. So plant the seven in your brain. Here we go. Seven, up to the hole. Eight, nine. How many did we need to get to nine? Two. And I'm gonna put that in my mystery bubble. Our missing number was two. Very good. The last thing we have to do is write a number sentence. And remember, the number sentence goes right along with the story. So how many books, how many books did Tanya start with? Seven books. Plus, because she got some more, how many more books did she get from the library? She got two more books. We didn't know that at first, but that's what we found out. She got two more equals how many books did she end with? What's our total? She had nine books all together. Very good. Okay, we have to put a circle around the number that we find. Which number did we find? Did we find the seven? No, they told us in the story. She started with seven books. Did we find the nine? Nope, they told us in the story. She ended with nine books. We found the two. Oh, yes, that's why I had the question mark there. I had to find the two. So then I know that is my answer. How many more books did Tanya borrow from the library? Tanya borrowed two more books from the library. Great job. Go ahead, give yourself a star or a smiley face. I think I'm going to do a star today. And then you can put that away. And get either a piece of paper or um, a whiteboard. And we are going to do a little math story together. Okay, so let's see. Here's our math story. There were four aliens that landed on earth four aliens landed on earth then 
some more aliens landed on Earth. They're hiding in here. We don't know how many. We just hear a keyword. Some more aliens landed on Earth. All together, there were six aliens. How many more aliens landed on Earth? What do we have to do here? Let's see. Mm, I'm going to start with my number bond this time. I'm going to start with my number bond this time. Okay, and I heard my keyword some more, so I know I'm missing the part. So I'm going to put a tiny question mark in one of my part bubbles to remind me that's what I'm missing. And then I have to think, okay, four aliens landed on Earth. All together, at the end, we had six. Okay, that's my big number, six. So I know that's my total. And four is my first part. So I have to find the missing number. What can I do? Oh, part up to whole. So I'm going to count. Plant the four in my brain. Four, five, six. Stop. We made it to the target. How many did four need to get to six? Two. Good, now I'm gonna check it with a drawing. I started with four aliens on Earth. One, two, three, four. Okay, now I have to find the missing part and I have to have a total of six. I'm gonna switch to X's so it's very easy for me to see how many more I had to draw. Four, five, six. Okay, how many more did I have to draw? Two. Oh my gosh, that was so easy. And it's really easy for me to see because I switched to X's. Okay, now I have to write a number sentence. How many aliens did we start with? Four aliens landed on Earth first. Plus, we found two more equals a total of six aliens. Okay. I have to circle the number that I found. Which number did I find? I found the two. I got the four and the six from the story. They gave me those numbers. I had to find the two all by myself. So I say two more aliens landed on Earth. Let's see. One, two. There were two aliens hiding in the box and we got it right. Good job, guys. That is only the second day that we've done missing part, and you are rocking it. So, two thumbs up, point them at yourself. Say, I am a mathematician. Good job, and I will see you next time.